Hey, I know there's a lot of nature lovers among our viewers. So today I have an idea. It's a chance for you to enjoy nature, learn something new, teach something to someone else, and contribute to science. It's actually great backyard bird count week. And the date for this year, 2022, begins today, February 18th and it continues for four days until the 21st. So it's something that's so easy to do, something to get involved with. If you've done it before, you'll know that you'd probably like to do it again this year, but if you've never done it before, it's easy to get started. It's actually the 25th anniversary of the biggest global birding event in the world. Do you want to participate? If you do, here's what you need to do to get started. First, go to an area where you're used to seeing some birds or that you know some birds congregate. It might be your backyard, it might be your bird feeder, it might be down by the river. <laughs> it, it could be in a preserved area for birds. But whatever you choose, go there and spend at least 15 minutes observing the birds in that area. I personally will go out to my backyard where I have my bird feeders because all I have to do is throw out some seeds and they're so used to coming for seeds every day that I know I'll have some birds to look at at that time. You can take along a set of binoculars if you want, but you really don't need any tools, maybe a tablet and your cell phone. The important thing is that you record your findings and if you're not sure about a lot of birds what kind of bird they are there are apps available to identify the birds and really help you with this i'm going to put some links in my description for a bird identification app and one where you can enter the information of the birds that you find why is this important because every year there's scientists who are measuring what the habits of the birds are what is happening to the bird populations and it helps us to know more about the environment and about climate change it helps us to know what's happening to the bird populations and it also helps people all over the world to contribute to this then you'll see the excitement involved it's really great and scientists will use this information you'll use this information too if you're learning to look for a certain type of bird or a certain type of area. Some of these links that I'll give you, they have a section in there where you can print the birds that are in your particular area. So you can you know, go to different parts of the country or in your own backyard. What are the typical kind of birds that are found in your area? So it makes them easier to identify. I'm gonna go outside in my little bird sanctuary and see what I find today. I have the app on my phone so that I can just record it and send it into the scientific collection of information. Have some fun with this. Learn and grow and teach somebody something about it. Make a difference in the world by contributing to this annual Great Backyard Bird Count. I'm going to go out in my yard and take a look around now, take some pictures and enter my information. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is my bird sanctuary right here. Every day I come out and feed the birds a little bit. Here's the mixture that I made for the bird seed. You can see in here it's a mixture of the tiny bird food and some corn and also the nice big sunflower seeds. So I hope to get some songbirds by feeding them this kind of mix. When I make the mixture into a, a nice container that I can into the bird feeder so when it's a cold day I don't have to spend a lot of time out here like today. <laughs> I also give them a scoop of peanuts that they share with the squirrels. Some of them like that too. Come on over. It's nice and green out here in the springtime but it's middle of winter so it this looks a natural bird feeder here. It's a stump that we have cut off. Rick cut a tree off here that broke during the winter and we made a bird feeder out of it. 
then I just sprinkle some around. I have a little protected area here. Yeah. And then I have some little bird feeders here. And like I said, the squirrels, the squirrels share these. Sometimes you'll see a squirrel sitting in there. Yeah. <laughs> And they'll be coming here soon. As soon as she feeds them, they come out. Yeah. And the birds. Well, I sprinkle some here. Another little kind of protected area. And I pour some of the nice corn and sunflower seed mixture down here. But the part that ties them over to the next day, right here, this part here. And you can see how nice this container works for. I only pour like a half in at a time. Because they're well fed. Yep. And then on a nice warm day, I'll sit over here at the picnic table or the, the lawn chairs, and the birds will come by and talk to me a little bit. <laughs> but today is a very windy day. I'm not sure what we'll see today. And cold. If we see one or two or a cluster of them, yeah. we're going to put them into our app and register them on the website. <laughs> Do you see anything up there, Rick? <laughs> see any wildlife lately? <laughs> I hear some. Well, during this time period for the event, I hope we see a whole bunch. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a bird. Have you heard? It's bird's the bird. <laughs> They'll be here soon. It's really cold. Yep. This looks a lot better in springtime. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for the green to grow in here. They're still happy when they get here. The squirrels will be here as soon as we walk away. Okay, thanks for helping. Okay. <laughs>